I'm Scott Huntsman with Tunax here at Tibble Fork Reservoir with the Utah Jeep Crew and the U.S. Forest Service. It's National Public Lands Day and we're headed up to Schaefer Fork and ultimately to Forest Lake to do a little trail maintenance. Maintaining trails is very labor intensive and the Forest Service relies heavily on volunteers. The time they spend doing things like trash cleanup or repairs is crucial. Today we're extending a fence to block off a section that was unfortunately created by people going off the designated trail. And so they'll see a rock garden like we have over there and try to bypass it rather than, which often means going through the bush and creating a new road like this, which we are very much trying to avoid. And the reason we do that is to have less environmental impact on the area and ensure that everything kind of remains good looking and we don't take too much, uh, create too much damage in the area. We want to make sure that we, everybody can continue to come up and enjoy it and still have a beautiful area to look at as well. The Forest Service lacks the off-road capabilities of the Jeep crew and so they team up for everyone's benefit. That's the beauty of trying to do these projects and trying to do these things is leaving it better than the way that we found it. Because we want to make sure that we're working very closely with the Forest Service, with you know anything that's on BLM land or Division of Natural Resources, any of those guys, we want to make sure that we're working very, very close. We want to make sure that our voice is heard and ensure that we have an opinion and say in what goes on. And it provides the Forest Service uh, the resources that they need because they really don't have the resources to ensure that all of these trails are maintained and open. With over 8,000 members on the Utah Jeep Crew Facebook group, it's a great online resource for new and seasoned off-road enthusiasts alike. But they rely on a small group of committed members to pull off projects like this. Just getting into Jeep Crew, just start coming to trail runs, hangouts, service projects, meetings. What we're trying to do right now is get more people involved, get more members, get more active you know, people coming into the club. If you're involved, you're gonna be a full-time member. We've got a lot of plans for Jeep Crew for next year. A lot of those are gonna involve this trail here um, all the way up to Forest Lake. It's probably the most important aspect to me is me making sure that we maintain our, our trails and our environment and that we still have these beautiful places to come to. Because this would be awful if this got shut down. And so we'll be here to make sure that doesn't. All right, guys. Hey, all the volunteers that came up with their Jeeps today have knocked this fence project out about an hour and a half. Not bad. Everybody worked together very well. And you know, Brett, who's part of the club, he brought fat boys. Mm. So you're probably saying to yourself, I want to volunteer, but I don't own a Jeep. Well, you're in luck. You don't actually have to have a Jeep to join Jeep Crew, which is the beauty of it. We came up here uh, and did a, a kind of a trash cleanup a couple of weeks ago and we had expeditions, we had a Suzuki Vitara, we had, you know, side by side on, on one of our runs. There you have it. Don't let anything stop you from volunteering and making a difference in the great outdoors. For this week's Along the Way, for At Your Leisure, I'm Scott Huntsman.